Okay, I'd like for you to start looking at this. This is a, uh, a video clip where they're reconstructing Stonehenge. And I'd like for you to watch how they're, they're doing it here. You can look this up on your own for a more clearer shot. Closer here out of the sun. So, basically they scraped the, the there's a, there's pictures of Stonehenge, well, paintings of Stonehenge, and uh, in it, uh, there's not that many stones. There's not a complete circle. There's a, there's the hill stone, but uh, they actually cleared the, the what were there and realigned them. You can see. Uh, so what you see at Stonehenge now isn't the original structure. Now, keep that in mind. Uh, I'd like for you to look up Obama at Stonehenge and go through the pictures. And in there, you can see him uh, walking around Stonehenge. And I'm at a little place in, outside of Kerrville that's like a, a reproduction of Stonehenge. Now, uh, you can't walk up to the stones now. They have them like off limits. And there's a reason for that. Uh, the, uh, uh, some of these, the stones and actual Stonehenge are like these, they're actually fake. Now, uh, there's a picture, Obama at Stonehenge. There, there's a picture of Obama at Stonehenge. And, uh, he's wandering through the, uh, between the stones and whatnot. And uh, he doesn't even see it, or he's not aware of it. Uh, but anyway, he walks past here. I'll blow up the picture real quick here. So see, see here, he's wandering through some stones, and you can see that stone. See it right there, right, right next to him. He actually looks at it, but doesn't notice it. It's actually got a wooden center with uh, like a stucco or fake rock over it. See. See that? It's fallen away, and there's a couple of stones like that. So, uh, the stones you see at Stonehenge, much like these, they they weren't the original the original things. Like I said, if you look at paintings of Stonehenge, yes, there were upright rocks, yes, there was a heel stone, and yes, it probably was aligned. Well, matter of fact, it actually was aligned with the summer solstice. Uh, See, this is a, that, that would be the heel stone. But anyway, so it, yes, it was aligned with the summer solstice. But all these other astronomical alignments, there's been guys that have been handing out PhDs because they found holes on the top. And, and these guys in their mind, they, uh, they saw something that wasn't there. So they put wooden pieces up there and they found all these alignments. And uh, all of those top stones, there was only two cross stones in the original one. The rest of them were just made up. So there's been people that have been given PhDs, uh, and several of them over alignments in Stonehenge that don't even exist, that didn't exist until the 50s. So uh, there you go. Uh, the the reason it's 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 kept so much in this, the people that run run the world are generational Satanists. And uh, their calendar is called the Satanic Wheel of the Year, and it's, it's built on eight major holidays. God's calendar has seven holidays. Uh, the, the Satanic Wheel of the Year uh, is, is the longest day of the year, the shortest day of the year, the two equinoxes, and the cross points. So the... the, the the year both ends and begins with Samhain, which you call Sam. It's, it's spelled Samhain, but it's Halloween. It's the beginning and the end of the year, and it's thought that's the day that the uh, the doors between the unseen world and the seen world are the thinnest, so you can communicate with the dead and demons and all that other stupid shit. And there's a lot of uh, there's a three day festival, and they kill people on them all around the world. And then uh, then there's Yule, which corresponds to to uh, Christmas, even though Jesus was born on the Feast of Tabernacles, uh, it got it got welded to that because 
uh, Constantine the Great, when he basically codified Roman Catholicism, he moved it to that day because everybody was already celebrating it. Uh, but Jesus was born, Yeshua was born uh, at the end of September, early October, uh, depends on which year it was, on the Feast of Tabernacles. And the reason you know that is the uh, shepherds were out in the field with their flock. Well, they're not going to be in the, in the flock. It, it gets cold even in Israel during the winter, so they would be uh, corralled up in some way uh, by December. Uh, the next one is uh, Imbolec, and uh, then there's uh, Ostar, uh, Ostara, which is the corresponds with Easter. Easter is only mentioned one day. In one passage in the Bible, obliquely talking about pagans that are celebrating it, the real Christ, or the Christian and the Hebrew holiday around there is actually called Passover. It doesn't have anything to do with bunnies. Bunnies are a fertility symbol. Eggs are a fertility symbol. Uh, the other, uh, the the next one would be uh, uh, Lunasag. Uh, uh, then, then you've got. Uh, uh, Litha or Midsummer, Mabin, uh, but the Satanic Wheel of the Year uh, has eight holidays, and uh, God's calendar has seven, uh, not eight. Uh, so there you go. And it's kind of cool out here, but like I said, it's just a, a fake of a fake. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. I'm out.